All right. Uh, this is the first video that we will do uh, regarding login, how to process login from the database. So in our form, main form, we have an option that called login and log out. And then we have an option called customer forms. When your application start, this should be hidden. That means they're not, not available only, they are available for valid customers, valid users. So how do we do this? To do this, we can do it two ways. This has a name. If you go to properties, the name of this is called one form tool strip menu item. There is a property here called visible true. Right now it's visible true. So you can do it in here, but I want to do it in the program itself, programmatically. Here is my form. Usually what happens is that in the form load event, you basically block all the things that should be protected in your application. So what we do is that we go to our properties again and go to my event. And there is one called load. You double click on that. And in here, we basically make that form menu hidden by saying form tool strip menu items dot visible equal false. All right? Because that was the name of that menu, if you remember, it was forms dot tools menu strip menu item dot visible we make it equal to false in addition to that I have the log out menu item I want to make it also disabled and the reason I do that because when you first start your application the log out should not be available it should be disabled okay so I just say log out menu item dot uh, log out tool strip menu item dot enabled equal false where is that actually this is this one here log out now if you look at the property for this guy that's the name of it log out tool menu strip item menu item you got the idea okay so we this happens when when the form actually is loaded into memory. Now let's run it and see what happens. You'll notice that this is not there anymore. Yeah? And the log out is disabled. You cannot do anything with it. Alright, so what we need to do is that when we, log, when we click on the login, we want to show the login form. Okay, so go back to the code. Go to form one design, double click on the login. And then we need to enter the code. Here, I want to say f dot show. Now, first of all, we create the form. We say form login f equal new form login, right? And then, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna share, say f dot show. And not show dialogue, not show, not just show, show dialogue. What's the difference between show and show dialogue? Show, you can, that form will be floating anywhere. And then you can still click on the main form, form one. But show dialogue, it only, it's like a dialogue box. You cannot do anything with the other part of the program unless you close that form. So I say form F equal new form, log in, and then F that show dialogue. Now, when we run it, and I click on log in, I have my log in form. Notice, I cannot click in the background. I cannot do anything with the background. Why? Because I told it what? It's a dialogue. It's not show only. Type. Let's see what happens. From here, what I want is that when I log in, I want to go to the database and get the information. When I cancel, I want to go back to the form. 
But the menu, the main menu appears in which form? Form 1. Let me pause for a minute. All right, so one of the things that we need to worry about is that when I click, if, when I go to the database and then get the information correct, I need to inform that main form that everything was okay. And when I click on cancel, again, I need to tell the main form that the user hit the cancel. That, so don't enable the menu. When do we enable the menus, the forms? Only when we have valid information. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you how we show the dialog box and get result back from it. We return result back from it. So let's take a look at the let's take a look back at the code. Do you see that? F dot show dialog. Here I can put a condition. It say if F dot show dialog equal to Notice when I put equal, equal, what happens? It gave me options. It says system.windows.forms.dialog result. If it was okay, then we do something. You got the idea? What does that mean? It means first show me the dialog, and then that dialog, the log inform, will inform me if it was okay or not. It will give me back value to tell me if things were okay or not. So how do I know if it was okay? I say if system.windows. if this show dialog equal to okay. You can put cancel, you can put other values. If you notice when I put that I got other values. One of them okay, abort, cancel, ignore, no. So you can program it the way you want to. But I'm going to say it's okay. Okay. So if it was okay, what do I do? Do you see those things that we did disable? We made him false. We make him to what now? True. So control copy and then put them in the if statement. And then that's what you do here. You say true. So what it means here, basically, show me the dialog box, the login, and if the, f the value back was okay, then I make it enable. Now we need to go back to the login form. In the login form, I'm going to do something simple only. When I c I'm not going to the database at this part. We will do the database later. But all I'm doing is that when I click on the login, I will return okay. If I click on cancel, I return cancel. So only if you log in, it will give you, you uh, it enables those menus. So double click on the login. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say this, the form, dot dialog result equal. Notice when I hit equal, it gave me the option. Because I hit on the OK, I will say it's equal to OK. <coughs> so this, that dialog result, system equal, system windows dot form OK. That's if you click on the OK, log in. If you click on the cancel, if you go back to the code, to the screen and double click on the cancel, if you click on the cancel, what do you do? You do the opposite. This, the dialog result, equal here what? System.forms, and then here I say cancel. You okay? Now, when I click on the login, it will give me back OK. Give you back where? It give you back to the form. So here, when it say, if show dialog equal OK, then enable. If anything else cancel, it will not be enabled. Now, if I run it, notice what happens. If I do log in, if I click on cancel, nothing happens. But when I click on log in, these options are enabled, that one is disabled. Is that clear? Alright, so that is the end of this part.